Hello and welcome back to Visit File Coast. It's, what day is it? Do you know, it does confuse me when there's been a bank holiday. I never know what day it is at the best of times. I think it's Wednesday. And I've got a meeting in Blackpool this afternoon, which is why I've, I've come in the car, packed in the Hounds Hill. And I'm a bit later than I perhaps might be otherwise. And you're never going to believe it. Stop raining. So three, three miracles. I realised on my way into Blackpool that it's Easter holidays. So number one, I managed to get a parking space. Number two, it stopped raining. And number three, the side door of the Hounds Hill is open. Hooray! Hooray and hallelujah for that. Um, because, of course, Backlot Cinema is now open and trading, which is that one at the back of us there. And this cuts a really big corner off because you literally just come down, you literally just come down in the lift here from the car park and out you go into Blackpool. So it's really useful. We always used to come this way when, uh, when, when we parked there before they started doing the building work. So I'm gonna turn it round and you can have a look and see what's happening instead of looking at me. And we're gonna go and take a, a little walk around Blackpool now. Now it's finally dried up. It's been raining every bit of the morning. And we're gonna go and see what we can see today and see what's happening and see, see what's, what's new. So, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Don't forget, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications when you subscribe. And then when we go live and do all that kind of stuff and upload new videos, you will actually get to find out about it. And don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. It's visitfilecoast.info forward slash newsletter. It's completely free and it goes out twice a week, so you get all the, all the interesting updates and news and whatnot straight to your inbox right that's enough for me prattling we'll go and see we'll go see what's happening shall we so there you go that's the brand new cinema open and open and in business and there's the side door to the hounds hill so the lift the, the lift to the car park is literally just inside the door there so that cuts that cuts a big big corner off and it's much better so they've got their, they've got their um, chairs outside, look. Up, mind you, having said that, I was just going to say they're optimistic it's not going to rain. But they're underneath this canopy, aren't they, which is quite, which is quite clever. Quite clever. Um, so this is the new diner, which is separate, completely separate to the cinema. So you can eat in here. We will, we will at some point do a food review. Um, not today, Josephine, because I've had my lunch. I've had that great northern speciality. I've had chips and egg. Oh, and it was nice. I don't like chips and egg. <laughs> I've got very sophisticated tastes, Santa. Very sophisticated tastes. So you'll notice as well that the Winter Gardens is looking markedly better because they've got all that raggy scaffolding off. And in fact, they've put the, the mesh up that they were talking about doing as well. So can you see that there's some very thin grey metal stripes running down these columns? And you probably won't be able to see it on the, um, on the film, but there's a really fine mesh across the front of the building and that's to catch any bits of masonry as they fall off, which is why the scaffolding was up before because the front of the building is all, well, it's old and damaged and it's, uh, it's pending, it's pending renovation and until they've got the money for it, they need some way to make it safe so that we don't all get bashed over the head by bits of falling fans, which is what these cream tiles are called. So you probably noticed over the passage of time that there's brickwork underneath it look you can see it there where they've got it where they've got it rolled up there's brickwork underneath this cream tile um so it's it's built i think they're probably probably covered a bit up under there um it's built in ordinary brick and block and whatnot and then the tile is is set over the top like you would tell a, a kitchen um but it's quite old it's quite old and that looks such a lot better. Oh look, they're doing something on that as well on the building next door to Greg's. 
and that's not before time either. I bet that's in the same state. That looks much better. Much better. This is the brew room and this is Church Street. I thought he was coming straight down then. And this is the Stanley building. So this is the one that we did a, a video about a few weeks ago. And this is being redeveloped as a um, office space hub. So there's another video about that. We actually went for a little nosy into the courtyard, which is just down there. And this is the DWP building that we were looking at the other day when we were doing the live video. And I'm ever so sorry to the person who commented and said that it was hardly, it was hardly um, an inferno <laughs> that I didn't manage to muster up um, 16 foot high flames and a million casualties. But, you know, it is what it is. Apparently a gas boiler had um, set on fire. So this is the big red building that we're talking about in front of us and that's going to be a Department for Work and Pensions office block. I think it's 3,000 staff. I mean, you can see it's massive. These buildings here are coming down as well in the... Um, is it them? No, it's these. These buildings here are coming down as well in the, the Mr. Town. I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong place. This is where, this is Kingswood. These are the people that we always bought our station rail. And they're going to be building um, outdoor space. I have a feeling these are coming down as well, I'm not sure. I might have completely made that up. Let me know in the comments underneath if you know the answer to that bit. I know this is definitely coming down this bit on the right hand side because Kingswood have relocated to a new unit and I think it's in Polton or I could be wrong, might be White Hills. They've gone on to an industrial estate anyway. As you can see it's all it's all sealed up. So this is due for completion next year I believe. And when we were here last week it was surprise surprise raining and we were standing underneath the awning of the council officers just up here underneath the umbrella watching the progress. I've not been around this side for a while. It's a big one, isn't it? It doesn't even fit in me. Camera lens in one piece. It's all happening in Blackpool. This is Cookson Street. So all these buildings on this block here in the passage of time are all going to be demolished and this is going to be the site of the new Blackpool Multiversity. So there's a brand new university campus going to be built, going to be built up here, which will bring thousands of people into Blackpool and will get people spending in the town centre and using all the bars and pubs and clubs. And this is what it's all going to look like when it's finished. So that's your artist's impression. And this is the hop. This is the hop pub, which had been completely rebuilt from the from the kind of outside in. Let me just let me just backtrack a little bit. So you can see this creamy coloured work at the back of here. They kept the facade of the, the old building and took everything down to that front wall of brick and completely rebuilt a brand new dentist surgery at the back of it. So it's all it's all bespoke, custom built, it's a beautiful building and this stone detailing is just lovely and this one is, this one is the um, Blackpool Council offices so there's Blackpool Council, Blackpool College um, all kinds of different offices and things in that one and this is, this is the building from the front so this is the the front entrance way where this lovely glasswork is and it's all still under construction so it's been a bit modular it's kind of come a lot of it's come on the back of a lorry oh pallets if kevin sees them when he watches this video he'll be saying oh pallets i could have had them it's like an item of activity in blackpool this corner unit here that used to be tower coffee 
is the one that our pal Paul has got from the shipwreck in Cleveland. So that's going to be called the train wreck. So we're looking forward to that opening. It's going to be in a fab place and another, another haunt for us people that love the shipwreck. The good lad is our Paul that owns it. It does loads for us in Cleveland, so it'll be a good addition to the town, I'm sure. So this is the Holiday Inn. Opens from the 1st of May. They're taking bookings. They've got that on their, on their website. And then the tramway extension is down here. And last time I came round here, the pavement wasn't open either, so that's a, that's an improvement. And they look like they're getting cleaned up and tidied up as well as you would expect when their opening is becoming imminent. So this is the, the actual tram stop here that you can see for, for the North Station tram stop. The underpass goes straight underneath the building. And then this is where the tramway comes in. So for the time being, this is going to be used as a car parking area. This is much better. That definitely looks much much better it looks really really neat and tidy wow what a difference it's made a big difference just moving this fence um so the the opening of the tramway and the opening of the hotel are both dependent on each other you can't you can't have one without the other so we'll stand here and take a picture while we still can because obviously at some point that's going to be where the trams arrive and depart. Oh, goodness me, that does look better. That looks such a lot better. So you can clearly see the underpass there and the opening through into the, into the tramway. Wowzer. And I'm off down here in search of zebra crossings and you might think that's a very odd thing to go looking for um, but Blackpool Council and the people that look after this area of the town have invested in some very fetching zebra crossings which I have to say I felt rather envious of because this is this is the quarter where most of the um, gay pubs are that's the Grundy art gallery and that's going to be the site of some more development as well so this is where the flying handbag is and funny girls here look the old the old Odeon some rainbow coloured zebra crossings which I have to say rather rather fetching I really like them I am definitely brighten the brighten the street up no end oh I'm out of breath And here we go, this is where some of them are. There's multicoloured zebra crossings, aren't there, Bobby Dazzler? Have you ever seen anything as nice as that in your life? There's four on this corner, on this junction, so they, they kind of form a demarcation line. And it's all part of the Be Who You Want To Be campaign, which is getting into action for this area of the town. And Blackpool, if you can't say anything else about it, Blackpool is one place where you can definitely be who you want to be. It's now half past three. I've been to my meeting. I've been to my meeting with the lovely new block at Merlin and I've picked up the tickets for our new competition, which will be running on our website. So you need to make sure that you've got all those notifications enabled. And when I've got it on the website, I will put a post on YouTube so that you can have a look at it and you can enter for your chance to win because I've got four two-day passes. I'm trying to put my trying to put my hand over the code numbers. I've got four two-day passes for one lucky family to win. So in two days you'll be able to go to all or any, as many as you can fit in, of the Merlin attractions. And these are on sale now. There's a one day, a two day or a seven day pass. And basically, if you buy a seven day pass, if you're here for a week, you could keep going in the Blackpool Town Ballroom every day. You could go to Sea Life every day. You could go to see Peter Rabbit, the Gruffalo. 
you could go anywhere you wanted um, up to the top of the tower perhaps back, pick a better day than today you might be able to see a bit more but basically you can use it as many times as you like over a seven day period a two day period or a one day period and you can go and see anything you like as much as you like as much as you can fit it in so it's really good value and you end up saving 50 percent 50 percent off the ticket price so that's oh goodness me that's cold that's well worth buying if you're here for any length of time and you want to go to a few of the different attractions so watch out for that notification when the competition is online at least it's not raining it was it was drizzling in the words of paul mccartney i think it was the mist coming in from the sea when i went in there earlier on this afternoon and and it was that really fine stuff that soddens you do your family said that the the rain is really fine stuff that soddens you it was really 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 fine and I got really, really, really wet. So I'm really, really pleased it stopped, <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs> oh, it's gone really cold though. It felt ever so mild earlier. Um, but it's definitely cooler now. Having said that, I've got the full force of the Irish Sea at the side of me. So it's gonna feel colder, isn't it? And I think that pretty much brings today in Blackpool to a conclusion. I don't think there's anything else I need to go and find or tell you today. Um, oh, speaking of which, just one other thing. Have you seen that new Coral Island tram yet? It's bright yellow. So they've vinyl wrapped a tram in Coral Island branding and it's bright, bright yellow. It's very good. I've seen pictures of it, but I've not actually seen it in real life. I think they all ought to be bright colours. They'd stand out better. I stand on the prom at the, the tram stops waiting for one and I'm squinting into the distance to try and see whether or not there's one coming. So, for the last time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell and then you'll get all the notifications of things like competitions and um, live, live streams and all exciting stuff and new uploads lots to come lots to come and don't forget to sign up for your visit file coast email newsletter as well because then you'll get alerts for anything interesting that's happening and you'll get a weekend events guide a weekend what's on guide for blackpool so until next time we'll see you later bye for now